So coming to the back of the combine, you have the chaff spreader. The chaff spreader here, if you swing it out the way, there are some grease nipples underneath, which must be greased as per the op spaniel. The knives, you have the stationary knives and the rotating knives. For the stationary knives and for the rotary knives, keep an eye on the sharpness of the blade. If you have manual stationary knives, a good idea is to always make sure every day that you move the knives in and out to make sure that they still move and they don't get jammed out. If they are blunt or broken, please replace them as soon as possible. If you do replace either the stationary and the rotating knives, please make sure that you check the stripper plate up in the back machine above the stationary knives. For the rotating blades, also a good idea is to check occasionally to make sure that they're all free and they're rotating freely. On the side back, we have the chopper drive. For the standard chopper drive, we have an adjuster which is another one of the end-on-end -end or overlap tensioners. For that, to tension this one, tension the belt, the tensioner up to make sure that the end-on-end -end is correct. Then make sure that the bolt at the top is in the correct place hard up against the arm. For the other style, which is your twin speed style chopper, please make sure that the tensioners are set correctly so that the belts are tensioned up. So these ones here, the tube itself, must just be able to rotate so that it makes contact with the front face. How to adjust it is in the operator's manual, so do check and keep those nice and tight. If the belt on either of the system is loose, then you will find that you could start using a little bit more fuel as the belt start whipping. For, the, for both systems, for the clutch at the back, please just check the grease nipples and make sure you grease the grease nipples on the plungers on the side as and when they require it. On the rear, on the hood itself, if you do need to get in to check the blades, if you put the radial spreader in the swatting position and then remove the rear plate door itself, do be aware it's quite heavy, but it is one piece, not two piece like we've had in the past. Remove the door and you can see the rotating knives inside. On the right hand side, on the rear of the machine, take the cover off and underneath the cover there, there are some grease nipples for the gearboxes and also check the gearbox oils, but make sure that the radial spreader is in the correct position before you check the oil levels as well. On the right hand side of the chopper at the rear, obviously you've got the bearing as well. For the chopper itself, please make sure you grease that correctly on the right time. And also here you have a lot of pipe work, just make sure that there's no leaks, etc. from the rear end. Also, in any position, just keep blow out of the machine as and when required. If you do need to change your blades, do be aware that there are more than one type of blade that you can get. There is the standard blade that is sharpened on both sides. These are used for all the types of crops that we have in the UK. There is the hardened blade that is sharpened on one side and then has a hardened coating on the other. The same for these, they are used for all types of crops. Then there's the serrated blade. This is used when requiring a very aggressive and fine chop. If you need to convert the chopper to maize, please check the operator's manual for a full conversion of the combine and the chopper. 